Everything that we've been through has made us strong You won't believe we've had our great But sorry there's a light inside of us It shows the way Not looking for no, no, no Hell on a goal, cause I got you I got you, don't wanna show oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my own all that I need I'm trying to sugar cold But I'm flying so high I don't even know if I'm coming down You rock my boat when you hold me so tight The world just disappears in front of my eyes I'm telling you why This ain't no madness Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel And buongiorno from beautiful Rome so as you can see, I am currently standing on my balcony. Um, I'm in my hotel room. I'm staying at Smooth Hotels in Rome, Germany. So it's right in the heart of Rome. Such a nice hotel. It's very small. It's a small boutique hotel, very chic, um, very affordable too. So I would definitely recommend this hotel. So this will be our first full day in Rome and I have a lot planned for today. I'm going to be doing loads of sightseeing. I'm going to be visiting all the hotspots, the tourist hotspots. I'm going to go to the Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps, the Colosseum, and of course, do some major luxury shopping. Yes, because it was my birthday yesterday and I didn't buy anything. So, you know, a girl's got to treat herself to a little something, something. So I will be checking out all the luxury shops and I cannot wait to do some hardcore shopping. Um, but anyway, yesterday was my birthday, as you guys know, and we went to the most beautiful restaurant I have ever seen in my life. It was called Mirabelle. It's a Michelin star restaurant. It's one of the best restaurants in Rome. And oh, it was just, it was beautiful. I didn't film any footage, but I took loads of photos and I posted it on my Instagram. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen um, my stories on that already um yeah so we had a beautiful free course meal the food was delicious oh my god they even gave me a chair for my gucci handbag um what restaurants giving you a chair for your handbag straight away i was like obsessed with it from then it was a very decadent restaurant and we had views overlooking the whole of rome so beautiful so i just got ready i ate breakfast and i think it's time to start exploring rome so let's go so before i leave i just wanted to give you a quick overview of the view from our hotel room it's very rustic old school rome very beautiful the buildings are nice and colorful and it's just a really beautiful city. It really reminds me of Istanbul. Hey guys, we have just arrived at Trevi Fountain or oh, the Fountain de, de Trevi. Fountain de Trevi? That's what our taxi driver said. Fountana de Trevi. Yeah, Fountana de Trevi. She says it better than me. But yeah, it's the Trevi Fountain. It is so packed here. It's it's ridiculous. It's like chock a block. It's like sardines just packed together in one. But it's so beautiful. And I'll show you guys now. infamous Spanish steps and oh my god guys I am so pleasantly surprised all of the luxury shopping is right outside of the Spanish steps so there's
there's Giuseppe Zanotti, we've got Valentina, we've got Prada, we've got Dior. Everything is literally located outside the Spanish Step. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. Um, so I was really happy when I saw all the shops. But um, we're just gonna basically browse the Spanish Steps and um, embrace it in all its glory, take pictures, take photos. Are you excited to see the Spanish Steps? I'm very excited. It's a little bit to be in I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it So we just made it up the Spanish steps and we thought we had finished and then we realised we had only made it halfway up So we're in the midpoint I mean there's not a lot of stairs no. But I thought that was it. But it's not it. There's a lot more. Look. So there's this part up here that we have to finish. It's such a beautiful day today, guys. Look at the clear blue skies. This is what I wish London would look like. Not one single cloud in the sky. It's just clear blue sky. It's so pretty. I'm tired. It's not actually that many stairs. We're probably just exaggerating. But um, it's really warm today, guys. It's 18 degrees, but it feels a lot hotter than 18 degrees. So nice. It feels so tropical. Let's see the view of all our hard work. design one of my favorites along with my Gucci Dionysus one of my favorite brands the top I'm wearing so my knitwear is from Alexander Wang um, I bought it from the outlet and it's just it's just such a cool jumper it's warm but it's like good for spring and summer and then my leggings are from River Island and then my Gucci Prince Town with the fur arrived at our next destination for lunch and we are at the Palazzo Manfredi um, I probably just butchered that but anyway we're going to the Aroma restaurant for lunch and I cannot wait because it is a Michelin star restaurant and yeah we're gonna have some good food and oh my god I'm really looking forward to this guys I was wondering if we could have the reservation pushed forward a bit. Oh, right. Oh. Look at this cool lift, guys. At Aroma. This is like when I see those films. These sort of things. When you see those European films and they have that gate. Yeah, it's very cute. I really like that. Never seen that before.
So once again, Rome has come to the rescue with my bag. The waiter came up and he placed my bag on the holder so it doesn't touch the floor. I really appreciate that extra service. Okay, well, let me see yours. Mine is on the floor. Cheers to a wonderful holiday in Rome. Wow, this is strong. Also, they made your strong. I didn't taste it the first time they took the table. I <laughs> Guys, this is strong. I ordered a daiquiri. So when it came the first time, um, it was just like a normal drink. And I said I expected it to be frozen because daiquiris are usually frozen drinks. And then they put lots of crushed ice in it. It's still not really a battery, but whatever. <laughs> That's gonna get me drunk. Yes. Thank you, Percy. So guys, our main course has just arrived. I can show you here. So we have the um, dark ravioli. It's quite a small portion, but it looks really good. Lamb. Is it lamb? Oh, sorry, it's lamb ravioli, not dark. But um, looks good. Cannot wait to eat it. My mum ordered the same dish. It's really dark on my camera. I don't know why. Thank you. Guys, our dessert has just arrived and can you see the detail that has gone into this dessert? So, so we have the apple tartan and then we have the crumble with white chocolate and then we have the noodles over here which is a selection of pastry and sweets so we have finished eating our delicious lunch and we came to view the gorgeous Colosseum this historic monument so it's the Colosseum is actually positioned right outside of the Palazzo Manfredi so if you come to Aroma for lunch what I urge you to do is go to the back of the restaurant and walk down these stairs walk across the balcony walk down the stairs here and then you've got this small little patio area and it's so quiet there's no one here as you can see it's completely empty and then when you turn around voila the Colosseum. If we were to go right up to the Colosseum, there's going to be thousands of people there and it's just going to be packed like sardines. But this way, um, you know, it's an empty area, it's an empty space and you can get loads of pictures. So I've been sitting on here and I got my mum to take a few photos of me for the gram. Um, yeah, it's just a really quiet little secret place that we discovered at the back of the hotel. I definitely recommend it to anyone who's visiting Rome. Come to Aroma and then take your photos of the Colosseum. So it's currently 4 p.m. and we still have not been shopping. We've been so busy exploring Rome, sightseeing, exploring all the tourist hotspots. We haven't even had a chance to go shopping yet. So we are on Via Condotti now. And we are about to hit some of the luxury shops. So, and the first one I'm going to go to is Saint Laurent because I really want a pair of sunglasses. But online, the pair of sunglasses that I want are sold out. And I believe they're sold out in the UK. So I'm going to hope and pray that they might have them in Rome. God, the streets of Rome are so tiny, like the cars just, they just drive right next to you.
How cool are these sunglasses? I think they're mirrored. Oh my god, I love them. What do you think? I don't like them. I think they're wicked. I love these sunglasses. But this So this is the new sunset bag. In emboss crop for 2019, new season. So guys, this bag is called the Teddy. It's from the latest season from Cendaron. It's really nice. It's just a nice shopping tote and you can wear it as a backpack, I think. Oh no, maybe not. It's a bucket bag. Can you wear it? Can you wear it as a backpack? No, no this no. is not the backpack version. No. We have another one, which is the backpack version. Okay. Okay, so you can wear it as a backpack. It's very versatile, guys. The teddy, teddy bag. It's not not so big, yes. So yeah, that's the local version. This I'm sure we we have matte. Very cute. Matte finish or just. I I've never seen the all gold pair before. These are really nice. I've never seen a full gold pair but apparently they're very very uncomfortable so I've heard from a lot of people I think that would look really nice on me all gold against my skin tone they have the all gold pair but in court shoes these are nice as well $1,095 Um, yeah guys, these shoes are too small and my feet are massive <laughs> and my feet are slipping out the shoes my toes are too big and too long yeah, not the most flattering shoes to be honest. They do look nice. I like gold. But my feet are too big. <laughs> I think you need small dainty feet for these shoes. Right, so this is new for spring summer, you said. Lolita. Baggies, so you've got the Union Jack. Got the American flag, it has everything that represents the brand. I thought that was very interesting, very like a collector's piece. Mm, nice. So the bag closes from the inside, and then it just goes over like that. If you want to feel secure, if you wear the bag like this, mm -hmm. it will never open because uh, it's closed. Oh, that's quite cool. So I like that like idea. It's quite slouchy, it's quite casual for everyday wear. Yeah, I like that. It's got the rock and roll vibe. Yeah, very rock and roll. I really love these birds. What do you think? Come on. I really like them for summer. And you've got the mini ones. I like it in pink. My mum said I'm better off buying a jumper. And it's really thick and heavy. The quality of these Balenciaga jumpers are really on point. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow, I think this is a jumper dress because it looks so big. 
neon green. Neon is in for spring and summer. Have you ever seen such a huge selection of Balenciagas? <gasps> oh my god. Did you hear that guys? My mum just said waste of money. These are new. Haven't seen this colorway before. But they said they run small, so usually I'm a 39. So I thought and 30. got 30 and a half. And I 39. I don't think they do halves. And it was a big beat. I don't suit you because your legs are too skinny and your ankles are too skinny. Thanks, Mum. Thanks. Um, it's just the truth. Um. Small on the toe because my toe is right. Oh, guys, we should go for a 39 in that case. I'll try a 39 if there's one on display, but I'm sure I tried 39 in Selfridges in London and it was a bit too big. So I forget, it's good. Ah, Misha, to give us a try to see if we should do something. <laughs> Why do you look so long? <laughs> the toe. That is that normal? That's normal. Long foot. That's normal. I'm sorry, sir, but that one in 35 is not available at the I don't know what's wrong with Balenciaga, but for some reason, none of the shoes seem to suit me. Oh, yeah, they're more roomy, oh. Mm. Yes, of course, I can give you my phone number in case you can contact me on WhatsApp, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, it's the 39 here. Oh my god. But they look even bigger than the 38. Mm -hmm. Those are 585. Perfect. You can test to me, ask for the shoes, and when they're going to be available, So guys, I've just spent the past 15 minutes trying on multiple Triple S shoes and you know what? For the first time in my life, my mother 
taught sense into me and you guys know that I've had the triple S on my wish list for quite a long time and I tried them on just now and for some reason there was something in my head and in my heart that stopped me from buying them they have them in my size they have them in 38 they have them in 39 but for some reason there's something stopping me from buying them I've decided not to get them yeah I'm letting my head do my shopping instead of my heart <laughs> which is a bit of a pity because you know I was planning on buying them in Rome but there's something in my head that's telling me Alicia do not buy the triple S you will regret it and you will probably end up selling them in six months time so after my unsuccessful shopping trip to Balenciaga I have now come to my second home back to the Louis Vuitton because I don't know you just can't go wrong with LV like every other brand sometimes they just move mad <laughs> LV yeah let's check it out and see what I can get you and me everything that we've been through has made us strong you won't believe we've had our great but sorry there's a light inside of us it shows the way Not looking for no, no, no Heaven or gold Cause I got you I got you Don't wanna show oh, oh. Show us off But you're my own All that I need I'm trying to sugarcoat But I'm flying so high I don't even know If I'm coming down You wrap my boat When you hold me so tight I'm telling you why This ain't no madness The smoke and the mirrors are memories Now the sun's gone down Like a river rushing way up above This ain't Yeah, this ain't no sugar-coated love trying on the front row trainers this is in the catagram did you know these trainers come in the catagram print I think they're a bit big I think they're a little bit big when yeah they're very comfortable these trainers are very very comfortable guys I would highly recommend the front row these are very cool guys these are the new trainers for spring summer and they're called the timeout from Louis Vuitton so they have the um, LVs and then the different colors yeah very very cool what do you guys think
What do you guys think? Another push at Matisse in the arm front level in the baby pink. It would make the perfect summer bag. My Pachet Matisse is like the best bag I've ever bought. I love it so much and I wear it all the time. I can understand why people buy multiple versions of this bag. Okay guys, so I got my hands on the Louis Vuitton Jeanette boots. Brand new for spring and summer. And I love them. How cute are they? They're leather at the front and then canvas at the back. Better. Yeah. Try it. They're actually very comfortable. Yes. <laughs> they're actually very comfortable, but um, they're a little bit big on my ankle, which are most shoes because my ankles are so skinny. I really like them. They're comfortable. So if anyone's thinking about buying them. Yes. Yeah, so here is the Louis Vuitton cinema. It has 19 seats. 19 leather reclining seats beautiful cinema and what they do is they show Louis Vuitton's own production and it's on a loop for 35 minutes so you can come to the boutique and you can sit down and watch a Louis Vuitton production and just relax whilst you do your luxury shopping so that this is something I have never seen in any boutique before I think this is amazing i think this is so innovative and so creative for louis vuitton to do this and you can see how beautiful the store is and can you see this square here that's a skylight in the ceiling so it lets in so much light there is a flood of light in this store it's so beautifully designed i don't know who designed this store but hats off to him or her because they did a fantastic job And this is my essay, Luca. Hi. <laughs> Look at these beautiful Louis Vuitton slippers. They're so pretty. I think they're velvet. Yeah, they're very soft. And they're quilted as well. Mmm, nice. These are very popular as well. These are very nice actually. How much are these? Doesn't say the price, but wouldn't mind them in my house. A bit extravagant to have Louis Vuitton slippers. I usually just buy my slippers from Primark, to be honest. Oh, apparently there's a salon in the boutique. Is it like a VIP? Okay, it's a VIP suite, guys. So if you ever come to the boutique in Rome, you can do some major damage on your card and you can basically have this whole suite to yourself if you're willing to spend a lot of money, of course. Oh, so you shut the doors like that. Sliding doors. Very nice. Thank you, Luca. No more. Oh. It's just everything is so beautiful, like from the floor to the skylight to everything, the way they designed it. The, the walls are leather. 
Oh my god, they have leather walls inside the store. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Okay, so the um this part of the boutique, the, the wall is made of straws. Um is it like I guess like bamboo? Bam no, straws. This is all in made. Okay. Not sure what kind of straws. Definitely not plastic straws. <laughs> oh my god, this is marble. What stone? What? Oh, mother of pearl chairs. Oh my god. Guys, two mother of pearl chairs at Louis Vuitton. See, no one has ever gone into this much detail for me. This is so nice of you. Because you would just walk past and you wouldn't realize what the materials are. Yeah, this is beautiful. And this is the jewellery section, right here. Wow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Okay guys, so I just did a massive shop at Louis Vuitton for my birthday and I'm really excited to show you guys what I bought, so stay tuned. Guys, I am back in the hotel room now, oh my god, today has been ridiculously long. I'm so tired, I'm shattered, we didn't even go for dinner, we actually just went to McDonald's and picked up some food and then ordered an Uber and came straight back to our hotel because we have been up and down seeing all the sights doing so much shopping yeah roaming the streets of rome haha <laughs> pun intended so one thing that i did notice in rome when it comes to luxury shopping everyone has dogs the stores in rome allow customers to bring their pets which i find really odd um i was in saint Laurent trying on some bags and then a dog started licking my foot are you serious yeah a dog started yeah. licking my foot and like i was wearing gucci prince towns and i'm yeah. thinking can you get off my gucci please like i'm not really an animal person and i don't want your dog near my feet i i just yeah. thought that was really odd i said to the sales assistant is this allowed and she was like yeah in in rome it's allowed and even in Louis Vuitton, there were just dogs roaming the store. I, I just found it very, very odd. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I noticed. Second thing I noticed was initially I was really apprehensive about filming inside the boutiques because I didn't know how they were going to react because you guys know it's quite difficult in London. So... I was expecting it to be equally as difficult in Rome. Oh my god. Rome is ahead of its time because they're not stupid. They know that social media exists. They know that iPhones exist. They're up to date with modern day technology and they do not have any issues with people taking photos, uh, filming videos. They don't care. I was just walking around filming everything like i was some bbc news reporter i just i just freely had my camera out and just filming everything filming the bags filming the shoes i just couldn't believe it i was expecting at least one person to come up to me and say no cameras allowed but they just didn't care they just let me like continue they just left me in peace it was so good one of the best shopping experiences i've ever had ever in my life and um louis vuitton we ended the day at louis vuitton and obviously saved the best to last 
and the sales assistant I had, his name was Luca, and this Gian Luca, this man went above and beyond for me. I am not joking. He gave me a whole tour of the entire store. He was telling me about the bags, telling me about the shoes. He was showing me the cinema. He was showing me the VIP area. Um, he showed my mum to the bathroom. Um, he was, oh my God, he was impeccable. He was the most helpful essay I have ever encountered in my life. If you ever visit Rome, please, please answer for Luca or Gian Luca because he is an angel sent from above. He, even after we shopped, we were talking about, you know, personal lives. And he was just, he's such a hard worker. He was telling us how he commutes to Louis Vuitton every day. He takes free methods of transportation, like car, train and bicycle. It just, I just found him really inspiring because wow yeah he was a very inspiring man and he was helping me um take photos inside the store he was directing my mom he was he was just so good he just went above and beyond for me i've never experienced this level of customer service before it was just impeccable amazing literally the best shopping experience i've ever had so the prices in the luxury stores are slightly cheaper in rome than they are in the uk i don't know why but they are slightly cheaper so that is definitely a good thing if you visit rome if you ever visit rome bear that in mind like you can save a little bit of money which was good because i wasn't expecting that what else Mm. yeah overall overall i've had an amazing time in rome um we still have two more days here but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i want to relax <laughs> for the rest of my trip so i really hope that you have enjoyed today's oh, vlog please. please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the vlog and please subscribe to my channel for more luxury videos and obviously to see what i bought if you want to know what i bought you have to subscribe to my channel yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram because i've posted loads of content from rome like you know food and the restaurants and everything so yeah until next time i shall see you in my next video take care guys bye